Welcome to Being at Home with George. I'm excited to be here, and let's begin the way we normally begin, by creating the possibility of being able to say yes, to embrace whatever comes up, and at the same time generate the hope so we can make wise choices and we can keep it moving. And so I've been traveling a lot recently, and I have some time to be home and actually some time to self-reflect and get with myself, I like to say. And I was reflecting and thinking about this idea of what if we greeted each other by saying, how are you being rather than how are you doing? Or if we were to say, are you aware of how you are being? And so what does that mean? Being means this idea of the mood, the attitude, the mindset that we are operating from. In my teachings, I talk about the fear of the love wolf. Are you in love or are you in fear? But this idea of how you are being And why is it important? Because how you are being results in what you end up doing. And there is this idea of you got to be before you can have, before you can do. So this idea of being is really important. And as Churchill talked about, the mood creates a circumstance, not the other way around. And so this is going from a doing orientation to a being orientation. So the mood we are in, the way we are being is going to get the results that we end up getting. You meet what you marry, you might say. So if you don't like what's out there, we got to change what's in here. So this idea of how we are being and understanding that it's important. And then the real question is, how do you do it? And so to do it is to let own self be true or know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And what does that mean? That means if you want love, you have to be love. If you want joy, you have to be joy. If you want greatness, you have to be great. If you want to connect to the masterpiece, you got to be the masterpiece. And so this is the being thing. And being means you just say yes to it and you adopt whatever it is you want to be. You become the message, as Gandhi says. So this idea of being the masterpiece. And I remember John Wooden, a Hall of Fame coach, talks about make today your masterpiece. Well, in this way of looking at things from a being perspective, it means be the masterpiece today. From this idea of have a great day, we could say be great today. And that's the switch. It's a very little switch, but it's really important and powerful to be the message. So if you want a great day, be great today. If you want love, you got to be love. If you want peace, you got to be peace. If you want joy, you have to be joy. And if you want happiness, you got to be happy. And so that is on this Memorial Day weekend. And I know we reflect on loss and whatnot, but we can bring this quality of being We can experience all this stuff with the joy, with the peace, with the love, with the compassion. So any of those things we want to have, like compassion, we got to be compassionate. It's really making that shift from doing to being. So how are you being? And then what are you aware of in terms of your being? Are you aware of your being? And so those are really important things. So once again, be the message.